Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Camelia Akami Keys, and this is Akami Music. So today we're going to talk about how I got my minor cymbals and minor percussion endorsement. Really, really cool story. Um, um, a couple months ago, uh, November-ish, uh, November 2019, Robert Sput, the drummer for Ghost Note, like commented on one of my videos and then got in touch with me through uh, Messenger on, uh, he sent me a DM on Instagram and he was like, wow, you're awesome. And I'm like, what? It, seriously? I'm like, you're awesome. I'm trying to get like you. And he was just like, who are you? I see you got like a lot of percussion stuff. Like, who are you endorsed by? Are you with LP? And I'm like, well, you know, I'm with a lot of smaller companies and I demo their products and stuff like that. And he was just like, oh, I'm with uh, Tama, Minel, Evans, Vic Firth. Um, yeah, you want to like... What, are you interested in I'm just like what I'm like are you serious like I thought he was kidding and I was just like yeah definitely and at the time I was on tour so I was already using Tama and I was like I decided before I went on tour I was like that's those are the drums I'm going to use because I already know about their quality and they're really great and they sound awesome and their hardware is great the pedals are great and I was like I'm gonna go and so I already like so okay I went on tour um, and I started talking to him in, in uh, like October, November. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna hook you up with the uh, the guy. So Chris, the, the, the uh, artist uh, AR for uh, Minel, like sent me an email. And I was like, whoa, this is like for real. So Chris got in touch with me and he was like, hey, Sput hooked us up, Robert, Sputacular, uh, you know, so, um, yeah, he was like, so uh, we're going to get some percussion out to you. I, okay, first we had a phone call. He was like, just kind of like saw what I was doing and I talked a little bit um, and tried to figure out like what where I was going and what was going on. He was like, all right, you know what we need to do first? We need to just get you some percussion and make sure you like the product. So that's what's really important about getting endorsements. All companies want you to love the product uh, because that's the only way you can really sell it and that's what Robert said too because like I've been a huge fan of Minel but I only had a very like I had a couple Minel symbols um, so yeah so we talked a little bit and um, right before Christmas he sent me a Chris uh, he's like all right select a, like a, a percussion type of kit that you would want to use and we'll send it out to you. And I'm like, serious? So I picked, I picked up a, a selected a few things and um, they sent it out to me. I started doing videos, making stuff right, right before Christmas. And then um, uh, I, I like, hey, this video has been seen like over a hundred thousand times with my like minor percussion set up. And I sent it to him and he was like, all right, cool. And I was like, all right, so like, uh, I, I had to I had to ask him because he was like, yeah, we'll just, you know, test the waters out. And I'm like, so what like am I part of the Mino family? And he was just like, you know what? Like, yeah. Because at first he was just like, well, let's just test it out. They don't want to bring you on board if you don't love the product. So I got back to him, I was like, I love the product. I already knew I loved it, but I was like, I love the product. And he was just like, okay. He was like, anything you anything you want, just ask. And I'm like, at the time I was uh with Peisty and I was like I want to play minor symbols and he was like all right we'll make it happen and I was like wow so yes minor symbols minor percussion so um I'm super super happy uh yeah but that's kind of the story Robert Sput saw my video on Instagram DM'd me and it just kind of went from there. And uh, 
that that is pretty much the story but sometimes for endorsements um like i've talked to several companies because um i'm in the process of working on getting a, a tama endorsement and i've talked to pearl i talked to um mapex like on the phone and so like i'm assessing to see what companies like pick up their phone you know like can I call your company and you're going to like tell me what you need? So, but every single company is different. Yamaha is different. Yamaha is very, very hard to get in touch with. Um, I went, I had to call someone and he like had to walk me through how to get to their, their uh, artist relations page so you can submit um, your, your, some people call it a electronic press kit. Um, submit that information so you can get like, get your foot in the door um but yeah so sometimes it's easy sometimes it's not Vic Firth I will say uh I also submitted a uh, Vic Firth um endorsement uh application if you will it's online but that was super easy you know he's gone kind of the information was easy to find some some of these companies it's like it's very hidden like almost like they don't want you to find it so you just have to be really uh persistent and even with the Mapex, I called every single day until I kind of got tired of calling. I was like, you know what? I'm going to direct my focus to this because going back to it, which one do you really want? If you really want Mapex, then 100% go for it. You go for it until you get it. If you want Yamaha, go for it until you get it. If you want Pearl, go for it until you get it. Because who, what company would not want someone who is so passionate about their instruments? And they're gonna praise them and they're gonna wear the shirts and every time they see someone you know they're gonna be like this is what i play and they're gonna be inspired and they're gonna be like wow i remember this person playing this beat and it was really cool and oh they use this these instruments we all do it not just with music not just with instruments with various other things with food with uh clothes you know so Right now, little kits are popular. Little drum sets, very, very popular. It's a nice, small, compact idea. I love it. Um, love the minor percussion um, for that reason, like because you can just, you know, pop a little snare tap, a little bass box, a mix, and you know, it's just creativity, 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 create, create, make stuff, anything you want, and. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I even came up with this concept of like making um, these really like cajon type of, I saw a lot of people doing it, but I put my own kind of style on it, the, the, the African type of feel on it. So um, when I was living in Texas a few years ago, um, my husband and I, we were living in a studio apartment and uh, I had my drums, I had to set up my like, I didn't have enough space to set up my drums really. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use a cajon as a kick. And I'm gonna like SVSX because it gave me some like rhythm. And um, I remember I posted a video and it went like viral. And uh, I was like, wow, people like this? That's great because I love this. And it was just that, I, that confirmation it just um, really, really opened up. So, um, yeah, just be passionate, whatever you do, whatever you want, if you want a certain company, go for it because no company in their right mind would say no to you. If you are, you know, you got the numbers on social media, if you're consistently sharing and like saying how much you love whatever company, like that's what people want. Dedicated fan to represent their, uh, their company so yeah get your endorsements whatever whichever one you want